Hey guys, so in this video we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick Should I learn C++ first and then jump into Rust or should I just start with Rust immediately? So let's get into it This very much depends I would say on like your end goal basically if your end goal is to get a job working as a professional or having the highest likelihood of getting a job then I highly recommend that you look at C++ first because although I think that Rust has a great deal of potential and the developer experience when working with Rust is fairly nice it's the adoption rate of Rust within the industry is fairly low still. C++ is still extremely popular in the industry. It's the de facto standard for most of the lower level programming that goes on in IT. So for job purposes, I absolutely suggest that you should start with C++ and then look into Rust afterwards if, if you want. However, if your intention is more, or I, I just want to have a nice developer experience and I'm interested in lower level programming and I'm you know I'm just starting out then I personally think that Rust is a very good first step for you I mean it's uh, I mean it's it's a very nice at least I think so Rust has is a much nicer beginner friendly like a beginner experience if you will than C++ and it has quite a lot of niceties that I lack in, like I think that we lack in C++. It's not about power necessarily or potential or things of this nature. It's rather that it's very likely that you will find C++ Rust to be an easier like onboarding experience and than what it is to use C++. Not saying that C++ C++ is bad. It's more about it's. Uh, in many ways, I would say it's very similar to uh, the experience some people have with JavaScript, where if you are a master of JavaScript, just as if you are a master of C++, you can't like uh, that's when it's the best. Like you, you, it's uh, it's top notch. You can do pretty much whatever you want without fear. But if you are like if you're starting fresh as a, as a beginner, there's actually quite a lot of hazards and a lot of frustration that you're likely going to face when you're like when you're starting out. Rust has a bit of that as well, but it's less in my experience. It's much more forgiving, if you will, and more helpful. And the tools that are associated with Rust like today are already fairly well developed. So I think that the developer experience is quite, kind of nice. But as I said, that is assuming that you're not really going, I mean, going into Rust today for professional reasons and trying to like work, be a professional Rust developer would be a fairly risky move, I would say. C++ is definitely the way to go in that scenario. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that if your intention is to do serious games development, serious like system levels development or at the professional level and you want to really work with this sort of stuff, then I highly recommend C++. It is by far and wide the most used, used language for these sorts of use cases and I'm, I will pretty much tell you that it's an industry standard. It's been around for over 30 years and it's extremely mature and well, well, it's the default choice for pretty much anybody who wants to do lower level, lower levels of programming in IT today. Whereas Rust is what we call up and coming. It has the potential, but it doesn't have the adoption rate. So doing professional Rust development as, as it stands today is fairly rare. It's fairly rare to find jobs associated with Rust. But as a beginner, it's, a, it's likely that you will find it a much easier experience and you can still do pretty much everything, like you can do all the same sort of things, right? It's just a matter of that one language is an industry standard, has been around for over 30 years and one language is just a few years old and right now kind of trying to break in to become something that is mainstream. So it's more of a, you know, a point, point in time type of deal, which one is the better, better option here rather than you know, anything else. So hopefully this answer was useful to you. Have a great day.